Hey love, want to learn how to create a website for your own t-shirt business online? Well, stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how to create your own website for your Christian t-shirt business online using Wix's powerful website editor. Hey, it's your girl, Steph Rodness, founder and CEO of GodWillGrow.com, creator of God Will Grow University. And my purpose in life is to connect women of faith with the resources she needs to step into her purpose as a Christian entrepreneur. And that's why I'm so excited about today's video because it is sponsored by Wix.com. All glory to Jesus. Thank you so much, Wix, for sponsoring this entire series. This is actually video number two in the series. So if you didn't watch video one, which is how to create a branded website with Wix, make sure you check that out. And in this video, I'm really excited to show you how to start your t-shirt website using Wix's editor. Now, those of you girls who have been with me for a while, you know, Wix.com is actually the first website builder that I used to start God of the Girls' very first website our build God of God's very first website end of 2013 beginning into 2014 all glory to Jesus so Wix has a very special place in my heart and that's why I'm so excited to be collaborating with them with this video now again if you haven't seen the first video in the series make sure you watch that because in this video I'm going to skip over those initial steps of getting your branding set up customizing the website theme and all that good stuff okay because we already went over that so make sure you check out that video in this video we're going to learn how to build your own online t-shirt store using Wix's editor so the first thing you can do is go to wix.com slash stephanie rodness store wix.com slash stephanie rodness store let me go ahead and share my screen with you. Go ahead and sign up with your email address, um, with your information, all that good stuff. So you're good to go. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and choose what kind of store you're building. So obviously I'm going to do an online store. Um, I am going to show you how to use the website editor, the Wix actual editor. It's really nice and drag and drop. And look at this, they have templates for pretty much everything. So you can go over here to store and choose fashion and clothing, or you can choose fashion and clothing here and you'll see the website templates that they already have. Now you can see they have a ton of them. So what's really cool is you don't have to start from scratch. You can take a look at what they already have and use the template that most fits your brand, right? The only thing I recommend is to make decisions quickly because when you have a lot of awesome, awesome options, it can make you go a little bit slower. It really can because you're thinking to yourself, oh, I could do this, I could do that. And then you get really excited, which I understand completely. I'm like notorious for that. So I'm just gonna try to make very quick decisions. So if you want, you can click view and you can actually view the full demo of the template itself. So I really like this one. Oh, she's so fancy. Yeah, I'm really liking this one. This looks like a one page site. Oh no, FAQ has a different page on it. Okay, 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 template. All right, I'm gonna choose this one. So to choose it, I just click on the top right, this blue edit the site button. And now I can go ahead and modify this site. So the website I'm going to be building is for my Christian dating advice brand. If you didn't know, praise God, I'm launching a brand new brand. It's called Christian dating advice. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> um, so my primary traffic driver is going to be YouTube. So I want to make sure that I include my YouTube videos on this actual store itself. So that's going to be something I want to keep in mind. And the first thing that I like to do is actually customize the theme. So again, like, just like we did in the last door, you click theme manager and you can choose, you can change the theme to something that more matches your branding if they already have one pre-built, or you can go ahead and just customize it from here um, by changing the colors themselves. Totally up to you. Um, and then you can also customize your font as well. So remember under text, um, you know, these fonts are actually pretty cute. And if you wanted something else, you can definitely change them up. So let's go Helvetica, hit apply. All right. So what we want to do is go ahead and add our products. Um, so what's really, really cool is you can go ahead and click over here and click add apps and you can connect any one of the print on demand t-shirt businesses. Um, so <laughs> you guys know, I love Printful. I love Printify. So let me just search for Printful and there it is. And then I can just click add to site. Bada bing, bada boom, huh? Bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to click allow and add. 
and then you need to go ahead and connect your account. So once you've gone ahead and added your shirt um, using whatever app you chose, so mine is now right here, now I can go ahead and customize my actual product. So I just click in the product section, I can click manage products, and I'm gonna get rid of all the other products because Wix Creed, they do a great job of putting um, the sample products there for you. But for my purposes, I only really need to have just the one shirt because that's what I'm gonna be selling for Christian dating advice. So I'm gonna select, select all, I'm gonna unselect meant for Christ, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete the rest of these. Perfect, um, excellent. So now if I go back, I can go back to my main menu and then continue, or actually I'm just gonna exit out here. And now I'll be able to see just my shirt. Let me go ahead, there it is right here. Isn't that awesome? Pretty cool, <laughs> pretty darn cool. So if I go to settings, um, I can actually change the layout and how I want the product to be able to sit right? I can change my margins. I can stretch it to full width or keep it um, small if I wanted to. Definitely up to me. And there's a bunch of settings that you can choose here. You can, um, there's so much that you can customize. It is absolutely incredible. Um, just like I said, make your decisions quickly because <laughs> it can be a little, temp little tempting. So mine is not free shipping worldwide. So I'm just going to put welcome to Christian dating advice. And this is the part where we just customize our store, right? So here um, I'm going to put Christian dating advice, right? And I'm just gonna stretch this out so that she fits nicely. Bada bing, bada boom. Here, I wanna keep shop, I wanna keep about, I wanna hit, um, I wanna keep contact. FAQ is probably good to have if you're doing print on demand because you do want to tell people when they can actually expect their products. Now here, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, so this is currently stretched. So you can adjust the layouts here how you want them, like the column proportions like that for sure. Um, what's cool is you could actually go ahead and take some photos wearing your shirt um, so that you can upload that as well, which is pretty nice. And if you see here, you can actually stretch these or make them smaller depending on how you want your brand to look. So the shop now, I do want to keep. But this, obviously, I want to put Christian dating advice. Um, I'm going to put, sis, you are meant for Christ. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and select the image. You can change these images. So if you take pictures of yourself wearing your shirt or you have models wearing your shirt, this is the perfect place to put that. So for me, I went ahead and I created some... Um, mock-ups for my actual shirt design. So what I can do is actually change this image. So when you click the image, you just click here, it says change image, and you can upload one of the um, mock-ups you created. So I'll click upload media, upload from computer. I'm gonna go to that one. So I can use that one. She looks pretty hipster. <laughs> so I'll use her and I'll click choose image. And there we have a beautiful mock-up. And now on this one, same exact thing. So I can click change column background. I'm gonna select an image. And again, I want to use another mock-up. People love mock-ups. Um, so, or people love seeing like themselves in your shirt. So that's why I love using tons of mock-ups um, when I create sites for t-shirt businesses. And you can be your own model, by the way. <laughs> so feel free to be your own model. There's no reason you can't. All right. So now we've got a really cute header going, which is awesome. I can put explore the collection. Yep. I'm going to keep that just like that. Uh, about the collection. So I'm just going to click in here. And this is how easy this is. You click it, you click edit text, and you're ready to go. <laughs> so welcome to Christian Dating Advice. This brand was created to remind you that you are meant for Christ as you go on your journey of Christian dating. And then over here, we can do another image. So change image again. Um, and I can go ahead and upload another one of those mock-ups. 
So I'll do this one, click open. And choose image, there we go. And these A's and J's, you know, I do like how they look. So I'm just gonna change these to Christian. Oh, I gotta select it and change it to that gray. Christian, and then this one, put dating. I'll we'll just keep it like that. All right. So we got a C and a D. Never miss our updates about new arrivals and special offers. This I definitely want to keep. And then down here, this strip, I want to change this color to my branding and then change the copyright. I'll click edit text again and change that to 2021 by Christian Dating Advice. Bada bing, bada boom. There's also a couple other things you'll want to go ahead and do. So under the set up your site option, you can go ahead and set up your payment methods so that you can get paid. So you just click get paid and then you'll go ahead and put in however you want your PayPal, however you want your store to be able to process payments. So I like using the Wix one. Um, you can also use PayPal. You can use all of these. There's so many different ones. Then you'll hit connect me. And you have to certify, of course, that you're not selling these types of products. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm I'm not selling those. Perfect, we are all done. Now, the next thing I need to do is go ahead and set up my shipping region. So it's over here under my steps as well. So I'm just gonna hit set up regions. Makes it really, really nice for me. So yep, I'm gonna go ahead and you can edit your rules for however you want your shipping to be, if you want free shipping, or if you want to charge for shipping, you can go ahead and change that information there. And the same thing for your enrollment, um, for your international as well. And if you wanna add other regions that you ship to, you can go ahead and do that. So if you only wanna ship domestic, you can go ahead and turn off international, so on and so forth. You also wanna set up your, st your store taxes. So go ahead and scroll down. You see where it says set up store tax. We're gonna click that and then you're gonna go ahead and add your country so that you can go ahead and set up your taxes. So I can automate my tax here, which I don't mind at all. <laughs> or you can go ahead and add the country. And when you select your plan, you'll wanna go ahead and select which, whichever business and e-commerce plan that works best for you. Go ahead and select it, go ahead and add in your domain. And the last thing you want to do is make sure that you edit your site to make it mobile friendly. So Wix makes it super, super amazingly easy to do this. You're going to click here, switch to mobile. And now you can go ahead and update your site in order to um, customize it to make sure it fits. Like you see here that the, it's actually too big. So I could just make the, the font smaller. This looks fantastic. This looks really good. Just to, you just want to quickly go through it and make sure everything is sitting how you want it to look. And when you're all done, you hit save. And just like that, sisters, we have a store. <laughs> so uh, what I now want to do, I'm just want to go ahead and click preview and we can see what the store actually looks like. It's looking really, really cute. Excellent. You see, oh, love that. Love that for us. <laughs> if we click quick view, we can actually see our product. They can add it to cart. And what I can do now is go to publish site. So I do want to go ahead and upgrade this site so that I can um, have an e-commerce platform. So I'm going to go to connect to your own branded uh, domain, click upgrade now. And then once I have purchased, I'm going to go ahead and choose my domain name. So now that my domain name is actually connected, I'm all good to go, all glory to Jesus. I have an up and running t-shirt store, glory to God, that's super branded, super pretty. And I can go ahead and click publish in the top right corner and it is published. So let's go ahead and view the site. You can also edit the mobile site just to make sure that it looks exactly how you want it to look for sure. I can go to preview site and this is my site. Isn't that gorgeous? There you go. Excellent. <laughs> so that's how you go ahead and um, start your own online site for your t-shirt business.
What's really, really cool is that Wix has tons of additional apps and things that you can install in order to add additional functionality to your website. So definitely explore everything that they have to offer. Now, Keep in mind next week and next week's video, I'm going to show you how to start your own online store for a digital ebook business. So if you are selling books and wanting to become a self-published author, but you want to sell them on your own site, then make sure you subscribe to the Gotta Go YouTube channel because when that video releases, you're not going to want to miss it. So hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know how many t-shirts you are going to launch when you start your t-shirt store. How many t-shirts are you going to put on your site when you launch? I'm, I'm very curious to hear your girl's answers. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to sign up for Wix by going to Wix.com slash Stephanie Rodness store. Wix.com slash Stephanie Rodness store. Thanks again to Wix for sponsoring today's video. And God willing, I'll see you for the next one in this series.